All right, what's going on everyone? This is gonna be a super quick video. It's a PSA of sorts. I just wanted to uh, let you guys know that if you have any interest right now in playing in paper, playing in paper at all, as local game stores start opening up, um, I know Wizards of the Coast has announced in-store play is uh, like official in-store play is coming back. Technically, you could still play at your local game store if they were open, but they couldn't host like technically official uh, events. But now um, in-store play is technically coming back. I don't know what date it is, but the point is magic is more accessible right now than it ever has been. So this is a, a little screenshot of the modern metagame right now. And the decks are cheaper than I think they've ever been. There are still some expensive decks. There are some that are still over a thousand dollars. Most of the ones that are over a thousand are the ones with expensive mana bases like Esper Control, uh, Niv to Light, Scape Shift. Uh, you see the number of colors, uh, it, which it directly correlates to high prices because Vetch Lance and stuff. But, uh, you know, you're, you're looking at like $400 for Blitz, Burn, uh, $500 for Dredge, Amulet Titan, typically like 800 to 1200 usually it's down to 600 and a lot of this has to do with a couple of things first off obviously uh with quarantines and whatnot people just weren't playing so people weren't buying cards so that's made them cheaper but also wizards of the coast has just been printing stuff more they've been printing reprints um a lot of them constantly the irony is we complained about the lack of reprints now we've been getting them constantly but no one's no one's saying like oh cool we're getting all these reprints down look how cheap everything is obviously it's still expensive we're looking at modern right now and modern m modern's always going to be expensive and unfortunately the fetch land reprint sucks because it's in an expensive set so it's not going to affect much the fetch lands are going to go down until they're printed in a four dollar booster if you keep printing them in you know twelve dollar fifteen dollar boosters or whatever then yes it's, it's not going to impact much so don't expect the the fetch lands to go down because they're not being printed in a meaningful way uh and they probably never will be because that's how wizard of the coast is now um i'll still complain about that but uh that aside again very cheap uh, looking at standard as well here's the standard metagame right now um again very cheap compared to usual i mean a lot of decks are in the like 100 to 150 dollar range a couple at 300 soul tie control of course having tons of triomes so it's a little bit inflated on the flip side just guy cycling also inflated just because uh the list that it's showing 127 dollars has blue cards in it has prismari command and a bunch of triumphs as well you can get just guy cycling for like 50 bucks but either way like these lists aren't that bad i mean typically when you think of standard decks i typically expect them to be like 300 to 500 often um really really bad standard metagames can go up to like six to seven hundred dollars which really sucks unfortunately that's not happening now i mean the majority of the metagame is like sub $200 way cheaper than usual obviously with uh with standard you're buying a deck that's going to rotate and especially right now it's rotating soon so I would discourage from investing too much in standard right this moment but popper is also like much cheaper than usual like almost every deck here's a screenshot almost every deck is below $50 and popper is like known as the cheap format it's the affordable easy to enter format but this is cheaper than usual uh like popper decks are typically like 50 to 100 hundred dollars you know normally like the most expensive popper deck can go up into like 100 to 150 and there's usually only like one like that was the esper control deck on the last screen or on the modern screen the 300 dollars decks that you saw in standard typically there's like a hundred dollar deck in popper but there isn't right now the most expensive popper deck is well technically 80 dollars with the red green deck but like 50 dollars and below for the majority of uh popper the popper metagame uh, all the top decks is very very cheap even legacy is pretty cheap right now i mean legacy is never cheap but here's <laughs> here's a snapshot of legacy obviously it's obscene um i don't recommend getting into legacy in paper uh just at all but uh you know technically they're normally like eight to ten thousand and we're looking at a, a lot of them like three to five thousand three to six thousand or so so technically cheaper is still obscenely expensive though uh but the point is guys um right now decks are cheaper than ever uh, a combination of people not playing in paper people not buying paper cards and just lots of reprints have actually made the game more accessible than ever before um still expensive but if you've been wanting to get into modern if you've been wanting to get into uh paper play uh, even commander now is the time to just you know even if you're not going to be playing right away to potentially just pick up some staples that you might need uh if you like a certain deck type if you like a certain deck archetype uh, now might be the time to just you know get those get those key cards that you know you're going to need regularly because right now they're they're very cheap cheaper than ever and we are going to be getting into some paper play again soon 
Um, we'll see what happens with the, the announcements of future paper events. I don't have a lot of confidence that we'll have GPs and GB coverage and paper GB coverage, but it would be nice. But even without that, if you're planning on playing a Friday Night Magic, um, definitely consider uh, buying cards now as opposed to later because they're likely to go up. As people get back into paper, um, there, there's a good chance that a lot of these uh, deck prices and card prices are going to start going back up again. So I just wanted to mention that, guys. I just wanted to point out that uh, decks are cheaper now, cards are cheaper right now, and uh, they're not likely to stay that way, I don't think. Unless Paper Magic actually is dying, but um, if you have a local game store, if you're playing in paper, and you've been wanting to get into modern or whatever, now, now's the time. I would encourage you to do that uh, now. So that's all. Just a, just a PSA, public service announcement. Cards are cheap. Take advantage of it before it's too late. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one.